Hello VG, this is Vinyl Lover here back just with a short Vinyl Finds video. I know that I, in my last video, uh, said that I wasn't going to buy anything, but I just stumbled upon a really great haul and uh, decided to give myself an early uh, Christmas present. So, uh, just walk you through these. Um, I've done them in uh, in uh, in order by by year, uh, release year, year for lease. So the first one here from '65, the debut by the Birch, Timbering Man. I was missing missing this from my collection. I love the Birch, uh, but uh, this is the first time actually I stumbled upon a pretty decent copy. I think it's a uh, reissue from early reissue from. 71 or something, 70, from the Red Columbia, Columbia. So, yeah. Before they turned psychedelic, but still great album, great sound. And the year this was released, actually, uh, even though it's called uh, the spirit of 67, it was released in the summer of 66. So uh, yeah, it's for Revere and the Raiders, and uh, I love this band, one of the best garage bands, in my opinion. So uh, yeah. Original copy of the. Two I, Columbia. Sixty-seven. We have uh, Sunny, Sunny Bono. One of his, uh, I don't know if it's first uh, solo album. Innovation, it's called. No, sorry, Interviews. And uh, this is a great album. Uh, kind of. A lot of uh, side influences, but still kind of like um, crooner, big sound songs. So, and it's on the uh, original, on the echo. Oh. Not in the best shape, but I got it at a really good price. So. There we go. Okay. So we have a lot from 68. The first one is uh, the Association's great 60s pop with a little bit side influences, uh, sounds uh, on some of the songs, but pretty soft, uh, just uh, great 60s pop. Another one from 68. It's the split level, Divided We Stand. I've seen this in the shown by a few in the VC and uh, I have been checking it out and it's kind of... Uh, kind of like a Christian folk songs with a bit, also a bit of psych leanings but, uh, but mostly just about, uh, great uh, choir arrangements and. Uh, Kind of interesting songs, and uh, I think that uh, the female singer was an actress or something like that. Uh, yeah, but it's kind of hard to describe. Um, maybe like the search party, but just uh, cleaner and softer in the, the tone. So, but yeah, I dig it. The split level. And last one from 68 is uh, the debut by Spirit. Uh, this has also been on my one list for a long time and uh, great band, great album. Uh, they're more like, uh, has some jazz rock, uh, fusion, prog influences. Well, not prog, but uh, yeah. So, great album. And Jump into 69, the debut by, no, the second album by Grand Funk Railroad, the Grand Funk, or the Red Album, as it's called. And this just uh, kicks ass, 
Hard Rock Trio. This is just a monster album. I've been listening to this a lot. But needed it on vinyl. Now I have it. And the album we are listening to right now is from uh, 70. And it's a uh, jam or jam, jammy or I don't know how it's pronounced. But uh, these two brothers here, and it's just great American 60s pop. Um, I've also been uh, listening to this a lot. Uh, also saw someone maybe psychedelic show this. Uh, and uh, found this at a great price as well. Um, it's on the Dunhill. Uh, Ma, I should say. Malak on Dunhill label from 70. And the last one, one I. Uh, been on my one list forever. I love uh, Simon and Garfunkel and uh, I'm a music teacher and on, the, um, uh, on my uh, band uh, uh, class we just recently started playing um, You Can Call Me Al and I was actually missing this on vinyl so I got it. It's a great prize. And this is the uh, whoop and this is uh, yeah him recording with uh, with uh, mainly South African street musicians and uh, traditional uh, African uh, musicians and uh, yeah you all know it great great album it's from uh, 86 I think uh, I actually watched him uh, on Roskilde festival uh, when he was touring with this album so um, but I wasn't that old so like 11 so but I remember it so. Yeah, and that's the last one I got. Hope everybody's doing great and uh, take care and see you soon. Bye.